This is Erin Harrison with Keeper of the Homestead and today I'm going to show you how to clean your bedroom. To start with you need a little container to put your odds and ends that need to like shoes or uh, dishes or whatever that's cluttering up your room can go in here. Trash can for all your trash and a laundry basket because there's a lot of stray clothing in a, in a bedroom so that'll help you get started because then you can kind of organize your clutter as you go. As with all of your dresser drawers, you want to open all those up and make sure that each one of those is organized. This drawer is pretty well organized, but the bottom one here looks like it's a tornado went through this one here. So I'm gonna take everything out of this drawer here. There's, there's trash in this drawer. Looks like my hoarding instincts came back to me somehow over the winter. I have trash, that'll go in my trash bin. And uh, oh, I don't know what all this is, but goodness gracious. Got, um, well, look at this, a little baby dress. Well, I put that in the keepsake pile. And we'll just keep removing everything from the drawer. Oh, patterns for dresses. This must be the catch-all place Okay, now here. that I've gotten everything out of my drawer, now I want to vacuum it. Get all the little dust bunnies and other little particles out of the drawer. Was easy. Now just decide what things you actually use and what kind of things that you don't use can be donated to a local thrift store. Everything that you're going to use will just be folded nice and neatly and stored back into the drawer in an organized fashion. So I'll just go through and fold everything nice and neatly. I, I can even arrange it by color if I want to. All my blue and purple aprons will go in this corner. So. Next step would be to clean out your closet. I actually just did my closet. Sorry, I didn't film it. But I had about five bags, garbage bags full of clothing that I haven't used in ages. So I suggest you be really realistic, look through your clothing if you haven't worn it in at least a year, you probably never will. So then just grab a giveaway bag and give it to somebody who will cherish it. And then you'll have a nice clean closet like I have. There should be some attention given to a bed since we spend a lot of our time during our days, you know, sleeping. And a lot of people have allergies or, you know, you wanna, you wanna have good hygiene and you wanna make sure you take care of things properly. And one of the ways to have good hygiene and take care of your family is to make sure you change the bedding at least once a week. And I, I usually have mattress covers on all my beds so that it protects the mattress. It's not a bad idea to once a year take your mattress outside and, and beat all the extra dust particles or get a steam cleaner and, and steam clean it really good. But, um, but these are a cesspool of dust mites usually. I mean, uh, you sleep there, you sweat, there's um, some people wet the bed, whatever, you know, it's, it's um, a pretty gross situation if you don't keep it under control. So I suggest having an extra set of sheets on hand and especially like about three, four sets of pillowcases so you can change your pillowcase about every other night because that, that helps keep the oils from penetrating into the, the pillowcase and also having one of these handy dandy pillow protectors is great because you can just, the pillow stays nice and then you can just wash the pillow protector you can buy nice mattress pads and just pull all of them off about once a week and wash everything really good in really hot soapy water. Now that we've removed all the bedding and all the clutter in the room and we've organized everything, it's time to dust and vacuum. I just use an old microfiber fleece type sock and I use that as my dusting mitt. 
And I just wipe everything down really nice. When you're dusting, you always make sure to pick everything up and shake doilies out and dust the whole whole lamp. Like this. I even dust the light bulb. And the cord. Dust everything. Also, dust your baseboards. And your window sills. Now it's time to vacuum. You've done under the bed and hopefully you've done underneath all of the other dressers or tables because the dust collects there too. It's really important if you have carpeting to maintain it to vacuum like a couple times a week because it helps from grinding in the dirt and it gets all the dust mites out. So if you have allergies, it's really important to do that. If you don't have carpeting, and I suggest, you know, sweeping, you know, a couple times a week, get all the dust bunnies and different things. So, you know, it, it pays to stay on top of all that so that you don't have so much dust and dirt in your room where you sleep. And here is the mattress cover, which helps keep down on the dust mites. Here's the fitted sheet. As you can see, this is one of my spare sets of sheets. So I was able to get ahead of the game here and be able to make my bed a lot sooner because I have nice, fresh, clean, folded sheets. And you just want to tuck this firmly around each corner of the mattress. Make sure you have the, the top of the sheet at the top. What you do is you pull it down to just a little bit beyond the mattress so that and bring the top part all the way to the top of the mattress. On the end of the bed you want to fold your corners like in, at a square for each end piece. What you do is you lift up the mattress like this and you tuck the side in like this and you pull the, the excess sheet all the way down and pull it nice and tight and set it down. Do that to both sides. Up. Pull tight. Pull the side piece like this and bring this all the way down. And then you have a nice square corner. Your sheets will stay in place. Now just take your little handy dandy zipped pillow protector. Put those on your pillows. Zip them in so that they're clean for the next time. And it's also good to buy new pillows about once a year because I mean there's a lot of germs that get in there and bacteria from sleeping and breathing on them. So I would say you can wash them, follow the care instruction that the manufacturer puts on the pillow. But a lot of times if you wash it too many times or put it in the dryer, it gets all lumpy and disgusting. So I just buy really cheap pillows and we just make them work for a while, put pillow protectors on them and they, you know, can last a lot longer that way. And just put your pillowcases on. And voila! Put your, put your pillow right on the bed and put the rest of the pillowcases on. I'm going to put the bedspread on. I like to fold the top down a little bit. And down toward the bottom here, I like to tuck that in nice so you don't lose your covers during the night. My husband thinks I'm crazy because I have all these fancy decorative pillows, but they're fun! I think it makes the bed look so nice. We have pretty decorative pillows. Just love looking at my bed every day and it makes me feel like I've accomplished something if I have a pretty bed all made up every morning just like that 
Wow, this is great. This room looks fantastic. And it's going to be easy for me to keep it up every morning if I just get up and clean up the few things that I have laying around. Now go clean your bedroom.